but hopefully I'll be back here again soon and I'll remember how to make things for NFI because I forgot. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Katrina Ames. I make videos about books, fandom, and political activism on my YouTube channel and I'm kicking off review week by reviewing The Witch Boy by Molly Knox Ostertag. This was Molly Knox Ostertag's debut novel, although she was pretty well known as an artist before this was published in 2017. The Witch Boy is about Aster, who belongs to a magical family where everyone is born with magic and will develop powers. Boys grow up to be shapeshifters, girls grow up to be witches. But Aster, at 13, is a late bloomer when it comes to shapeshifting. He does, however, have a knack for casting spells and has spied on a few of the witch lessons his sister and cousins receive, and often tricks his mom and sister into teaching him witchcraft. He wants to do magic, but the only boy in his family who has ever practiced witchcraft morphed into something terrible and was disowned and banished. That's a real foreboding warning for anyone who would try to do the same thing, one that Aster ignores. He ignores this warning and secretly practices witchcraft in the woods where he gets caught by the non-magical girl Charlie, who he quickly befriends. The action of the story really kicks off though when the boys in the family participate in a ritual that is supposed to unlock their shape-shifting powers, a ritual Aster has been through a few times uh, without any luck. Aster's cousin goes missing during this time, taken by an unidentified spirit. Aster knows he can help save his cousin with his powers, but it would mean revealing himself as a witch who has been secretly practicing witchcraft even though it is forbidden. The story is very direct and straightforward. If read directly, it is a colorful adventure story about gender nonconformity in a fantasy setting with the dangers of toxic masculinity being put on display and put in direct contrast to Aster's gender nonconformity and the healthy masculinity of his father, a fully fledged shapeshifter who never shames Aster for not having his powers yet. It would also be easy to make the argument that this story is an allegory about transness and knowing where you belong even if your wider community hasn't accepted that yet or allowed you to transition. So this graphic novel is technically marketed to people between the ages of 8 and 12, but I think we could all use a fun magical story about gender that leaves you wanting more. Which is good because The Witch Boy is the first of a trilogy. And that means that there is more! There are more books! Um, thanks for watching my review. Please check out my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And hey, I love you. Don't forget to be awesome.